Hello, welcome back to Drinky by My Shelf and welcome to the Cozy Reading Weekend. I am so excited. This is an event that is being organised by the wonderful Lauren and the Burks. As I'm sure you all know, she regularly organises these lovely cosy reading nights where you get like three hours to snuggle down and make your house really cosy and read as much as you can in that time. Usually there's lots of snacks involved as well. But this weekend she is making a whole event of it. This is the cosy reading weekend. So we get three cosy reading sessions throughout the weekend. It is five to seven on Friday now and the first one kicks off at 7 p.m. That is cosy reading night. Then tomorrow on Saturday we get cosy reading afternoon and then on Sunday it's a cosy reading morning starting at like 7 a.m. So I'm gonna be joining that one from bed. And I've got a special theme for this cosy reading weekend because I have got three books on my TBR shelf which are all non-fiction books about books and about reading. So they all just go so perfectly together so I'm gonna read one in each slot. I won't finish them because they're too big. I'm going to read little bits of each on each day. Sitting down now because it's a Friday and I'm tired. So to probably show you the three books I've got, first I've got Dear Reader by Kathy Rensenbrink, which is her memoir of how books have helped her through difficult points in her life. And it's filled with like book recommendations and little anecdotes. We published this one at work and everyone that I sent copies to, all the influencers have loved it and raved about it. So it's finally my turn to snuggle down. So I think I'm going to start with this one this evening. Then for tomorrow afternoon or any of the days, I don't know which way around I'm going to read them yet, I've got Bookworm by Lucy Mangan. So this was a Christmas present from my sister a couple of years ago actually and I've been saving it and this is now the perfect occasion. So this is again a memoir of her reading but specifically focused on her childhood reading and how reading as a child has shaped her so much and I was a huge huge bookworm as a kid so I think I'm going to find this really relatable. And then finally I got sent this one, this is The Gift of Reading. So this is a collection of essays from loads of different writers about what reading has meant to them. So you've got people in here like Philip Pullman, like Candace Carty Williams, William Boyd, Marcus Zusak, like so many names in here. And money from every sale of this book is going to Room to Read, which is a global literacy non-profit. So yeah, it's all about promoting literacy and a love for reading to everyone. So there you go, three beautiful hardback books all about books and reading. Like, can you get cosier than that? So now, oh my goodness, it started, it's 7 p.m. I'm gonna go light my candles. Should I get into my pajamas yet? I'm gonna wait. That's gonna be like a midway treat. I am also gonna order some Wagamamas to arrive exactly coincided with when Argy gets home from work so we can snuggle and eat that. It's just gonna be lush. Okay, let's get going. Look at my adorable little hippo, front and centre. Second favourite hippo in my house. Just spent way, way too long trying to take a picture of all of my books with my candles and I'm not good at taking pictures. I don't really like taking pictures. I know what I want it to look like, but mine never do. And why does everyone else's look so pretty? So <laughs> I'm not feeling cosy now, I'm feeling grumpy that I couldn't get my picture. I took a picture. It was kind of rubbish. I'm gonna waste some more time editing it now and then posting to announce that I'm starting the cozy reading night about 15 minutes late by that point. Okay, this is the best we can get. It's not great. It does look a bit warmer and cozier on the phone than on the screen you're looking at, but it's the best we're getting. Let's post it. Right, with that done, me and dear reader are settling in for the evening. The subtitle of this one is The Comfort and Joy of Books, which is just the most perfect thing for cozy reading night. And you and I are feeling just right now. Look who's home! And look at what's home! Double whammy! Wagga. Mmm! Yum. Wagga mamas. <laughs> Are you going to do any reading this cosy reading weekend? Yeah. Do you want to show the camera what you're reading right now? It's a book that's really popular on booktube. <clears throat> oh, is it? Uh-huh. I've seen so many people reading it. I think Jenny is pretty tops. There's a Chinese proverb mm -hmm. that a carpenter comes across an oak tree or some type of tree. This tree has a bunch of branches, a bunch of like turns and knots and stuff, and the carpenter mm -hmm. just looks at that tree and goes, worthless, walks on, cuts down the next one. Well, eventually, it's only that tree that's left, and it's by nature of it not being useful to someone else that it's been able to survive. Oh. And so the idea is wow. that our identities are constantly, gently being, gently or perversively and endemically being co-opted into a piece of capital. Which is really interesting that it's been popular on booktube because that's inherently what YouTubers mm -hmm, are doing mm -hmm. in like double time. Adam Ruins Everything uh -huh, is a podcast. Adam Conover is the guy who 
It, well, the, it was a TV show. Okay. He has a podcast okay. called Factually mm -hmm. with Adam Conover. Sure. He has Jenny O'Dell on for one of the episodes. Listen to that if you're at all interested in the idea of the book. She's a very good speaker. Okay, very cool. good guest. There you go. Mm. Recommendations straight from RG. Mm. I'm having such a cosy time, but it is now nine o'clock, so we're two hours down out of three. And I said I was going to get into my pajamas. Perpetual dilemma. I will be more cosy if I get ready for bed, snuggle into my pajamas, but it would mean I'd have to stand up from the sofa. You know, you see the problem? Oh, wheeling up. We're just ignoring this distinctly uncozy spot on my face, okay? And she's back. I'm absolutely adoring this book, like so much more than I even thought I was going to. I don't want to finish. I don't want the cozy reading night to end because I said I was going to read a different book each time, but I just want to keep going with this one. Also, let's see how my candles are doing. This little guy in the middle is very much on his last legs. Everyone else going strong? Well done, candles. Please say it's not just me who in 2020 with all of this isolation has started talking to all inanimate objects. I used to do that anyway, but now it's incessant. I know just how to act to me. You fought for me. I know just Embarrassing, but I've suddenly got a bit teary <laughs> because in this chapter she's talking about working in prisons on a literacy scheme and it's just really moving. <laughs> God, what's wrong with me? I never cry at books. I just did a super artsy shot of me blowing out the candles one by one, but I wasn't recording, was I? Well, regardless, that was the end of Cozy Reading Night. So that was just three hours of reading this book. I'm so nearly finished. I've got about 40, 30 pages left of this one. So I will finish this soon. Absolutely loving it. As you know, I'm not a huge non-fiction reader usually. I love books about books, but I don't usually get so captivated by a non-fiction book as I did by this one. I mean, like three hours of straight reading a non-fiction almost never happens. So that book is absolutely beautiful and like literally beautiful. Look at that cover. What a treat. I'm really intrigued to see how the other ones will stack up. So tomorrow for the cozy reading afternoon, I will see you at 2 p.m. where I'm gonna get cracking on this one. Okay, it's time for cozy round two. So I did finish this one last night and I just loved it so much. So it's gonna be hard for the others to compete, but it is now time for our cozy reading afternoon. I'm gonna make some vegetable pasta and while I cook, I'm gonna start reading Bookworm. It's very hard to have a cosy anything with you around. Ah. <laughs> what are you doing? Yeah, your foot doesn't even show on camera, so they don't know that you kicked me. She's making things up. <laughs> I'm reading this one a lot more slowly, so it's been an hour and a half, I'm only on page 36. I think it's because it reads a lot more like non-fiction. So Dear Reader felt a lot more like a story. I think sometimes when I was reading it, I did think I could almost believe it was just like a novel I was reading. Whereas this is very much, this is non-fiction. It is her personal story, but with a lot of historical context. So at the moment I'm learning a lot about children's picture books and like the history of the development of children's picture books, which is interesting stuff and I'm enjoying it, but I just read that so much more slowly because I don't get swept along in that world. I just realised I have things I need to buy from the shop today in town and everything closes at five and it's now quarter to four. So I think I'm gonna have to go out into the rain, into town now, which is not like the coziest activity I had planned, but we're gonna make this really cozy. I'm currently downloading the audiobook of Bookworm so I can keep listening to it. And actually that's good because non-fiction books usually work better for me on audiobooks anyway. It's a bit like listening to a podcast. I'm gonna wrap up really warm. Literally just this morning, I changed over my summer wardrobe for my winter wardrobe, which just means like shoving things under the bed and pulling them out, but it's still an exciting seasonal move. And so I unpacked all of my coziest scarves. So I'm gonna wrap up as warm and cozy as I possibly can, put on a big woolly hat probably, and head off into town. And it will be cozy because actually one of the stops I need to make is to the bookshop and you don't get much cozier than going to a bookshop, especially on a reading weekend that's all focused on books about books. Maybe I'll buy another one, who knows? One of my best friends, Ellen, knitted me this hat with the Buy Pride flag on it. Isn't it delightful? Then I've got a big chunky scarf. I need some big socks as well. These are technically like slipper socks. Pretty cozy. Okay, this is a good start. All bundled up. Cold, cause there's nothing left to hold, yeah. 
So I just had a not totally successful shopping trip, to be honest. I couldn't find the book I was after, but I did have a very cozy time in Waterstones. I spent like an hour in Waterstones, so that felt very dreamy, and the guy was so helpful and nice, so I, I can only feel cozy when I'm around books. And now it's basically the end of the cozy reading afternoon, but I just thought, a little fridge in the corner here. Good framing, well done, Emma. Um, I thought I would finish off our cozy time with these hot chocolate puds that have like the melting chocolate in the middle. Mm, delicious. It's bloody cold right now, so these will hopefully warm us up. I mean, look at that. I'm definitely not as engrossed in Bookworm as I was in Dear Reader. I think it's because of what I said about it being feeling more like non fiction. It also just like basic things like the reader was very very accessible to read it had very short chapters it had quite big writing like it was just it just felt like this very easy comforting read whereas this feels like more of a more traditional memoir i guess plus with all the historical context bits so i'm not loving it as much but it's still a very sweet cozy read so i'm gonna finish up that one for now have my chocolate pud and i'll see you guys for cozy reading morning at 7 a.m christ help me good morning it is seven in the bloody morning, Lauren. Whose idea was this? <laughs> I'm very sleepy this morning, but I'm gonna make myself a cup of tea and get cracking on reading. I'm gonna light some nice morning candles too. So I've got this one here from Grace and Honey. I like big books and I cannot lie. And that one smells so good. And then I've got this one here, which came from a little market at Christmas, I think. It's called Vixen. I think it's Christmassy time enough to get away with that. Bookish mug. Bookish candles, book. Can you hear that noise? It is raining so hard right now, it's so loud. I don't know if it'll be picked up on camera. It's a very cozy sound when you're safely inside. How perfectly on theme are my sofa cushions as well. Just glad to make this even cozier with this fleecy book patterned blanket that actually has a hood but I'm not wearing it <laughs> like a cloak right now, I'm just wearing it like a blanket, but it's so cozy. We're gonna spend the last hour of cozy reading morning going for a cozy reading walk, meaning we walk along, I read my book, and don't talk to him. <laughs> cozy? So I'm walking the dog, <laughs> and was gonna go do something else. <laughs> Sociable, yeah. friends. I'm still home. As you can see, we're a little drenched. I didn't get that much reading done because for the first half we were mainly chatting about bookshops, which is cozy, and then the heavens opened, so I had to put my book in here. <laughs> it is very wet out there. So that was an absolutely delightful cozy reading weekend. Thanks so much to Lauren for organizing that. I loved all these three books I read. I'm gonna put them all here. I used to use this shelf for books, back in the day, back in the early days of Drinking Mama Shelves, so you might recognise it. Recently it's just been for candles, but I thought these three books about books would be really lovely up there. So I absolutely loved these. Dear Reader was definitely my favourite. What a wonderful, beautiful, gorgeous book in every way. I just loved it. Gifts of Reading, the one that I was just reading, was really fun because I hadn't realised but all the essays weren't just about reading, they were all about gifting books. And as someone who literally gives books as presents to everyone in my life for every occasion, so unimaginative, I can never think of anything else, it made me feel better that actually a book really is the best gift. Bookworm is the one that I kind of got on with the least so far, but I am going to keep going. But that was so cozy, even if I am a little bit wet and bedraggled now. What a cozy way to spend a weekend, I always love these. I will link below to Lauren and the Books' channel, so you can go and check out hers. She is doing separate vlogs for all three of the cozy reading events that we just did, so you can go watch all of those and I'll see you soon. Here's my hand screen. Wonder if you spent the winter all alone, yeah. Cause I don't please fall. I don't please fall.